this is Uncle from TacticalGamer.com bringing a fourth tutorial in the Add Action series. Uh, in this one, I'm going to cover the parameters uh, Priority, Show Window, Hide on Use, uh, Radius, and Unconscious. Uh, and you know what, I might even throw in Condition here uh, because it seems to me that it makes sense to actually do this all in one get this over with. Um, okay, so here is the tutorial as I left it for three when we were talking about uh, code or script and I'm just going to delete some of these elements because I don't need these triggers uh, or these teleporters that sort of thing. Um, i going to get back to here the teleport Camino script. I don't need that. Deleting that. Okay, so into my mission. Basically I want to use a desk, put down a desk, walk up to it, and then use an add action on that desk to spawn a helicopter. So, let's see if I can find a desk. Desk. Uh, under here. Uh, cache desk. That makes sense. Turn that around, somewhat like that. And we'll name it Order Desk. Where I want to spawn the helicopter is on top of this helipad here. So I'm going to find a. I'm going to take an invisible helipad, put that there, and then name it Helipad 1. Uh, and then. Just for the sake of demonstrating, I'm going to create another little trigger here. So I'm going to be able to delete the helicopter that I spawn. So, actually, I want to create another invisible helipad, let's say over here. trigger to destroy the helicopter I create so I can use the add action over and over again. So I'm just going to name it so that it shows up in the left side of my screen uh, in my entities list so I know what this trigger is supposed to do. Um, text, it'll be repeatable, it's going to be an alpha 1 trigger, and on activation it's just going to um, be the 1 set pause. that. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to set it in position above the helipad I created called destroy at a distance of 200 meters up in the air so then it should just fall to the ground and be destroyed. Because I want it to, ah right. It's because this is an array I need to use the square brackets. There we are. Hmm. Select zero, select one. So it's the X and the Y coordinate, and then 200 meters above the ground. All right, this will probably make more sense in a moment. Okay, now let's get into putting the add action on the cache desk. So for that, I am going to go back to this. I'm going to copy this as a template now to create my add action in a script. And in my mission, I'm going to use a file that is called init player local.sqf. As soon as you create this, it's going to mean that um, when the mission runs for every connected client, it's then going to run the script that's in here uh, locally on that machine. So 
I'm going to create a comment, put the template of the ad action into my script. So, and that should comment it out so that I can refer to it later. Um, and the unit I want to add the action onto is order desk. The add action would be uh, spawn helo one, and then the code I would want to run is going to actually spawn the helicopter. So let's go check something out. So if I wanted to know the class name of a helicopter, let's go Arma three class names vehicles. Whoops. There we go. So this is the wiki you want to get to. All right, I want to spawn a helicopter, so I'm going to go Control F and find heli and just scroll until I get a helicopter. There we go. So there's my class name. I'm going to copy that out. And basically, let's see. I'm going to Hilo one equals and then class name of the helicopter I want to create, create vehicle, and give it the position I want it to create, which is at the helipad one. I think I called it. And then just to make sure that for every connected client that heli1 would only have the name on this client that I ran the ad action from. So I'm going to public variable it just so that every connected client would know the same object name. And then end that. So that'll be the code that it's going to run to create the helicopter. And let me double check in the editor that I call this helipad1. Okay, that's good. Helipad1. Okay. So the arguments I want to pass to the script are nil. I actually have no arguments to pass to that script. The priority is, is I want it to show up at the top of the list, so I'll give it a priority 20, which should put it up in the top. Do I want to show the window, uh, which means when I walk up to the desk, is it going to show up in the middle of my screen? Is the text going to show me the there's a uh, an ad action on that desk. So let's say true. Hide on use means that once I use the ad action, should it close the ad action menu so that I don't see it? Um, and I want that to be true. If it was false, then the ad action menu would stay open and that ad action would stay selected so you could hit it multiple times. Just in the same way as if you've been flying the jets and you turn your flaps up or down, uh, that option stays selected and you can turn your flaps another degree down. Uh, anyway, shortcut. <clears throat> um, I can create a shortcut in any of the keybinds that uh, you have set up. There's a list of keybinds. Let's say I get into the scripting commands and get into the add action description here. Then as far as uh, a shortcut goes, one of the key names to find in bin PBO, as in like move forward, will bind that shortcut key or key bind to this add action. Um, now, where did I find? There we go, key names. So then there's this list of input actions here. Um, and so the one that I might use is salute as something that I really don't use in the game. So um, let's do that. So the shortcut would be salute. So the condition 
is going to be I only want it to spawn the hello the, the hello one or hello one um, if it's not alive so um, the condition would be not alive hello one so that means then that the add action is only going to show if hello one is not alive the radius is just how far away from the desk you need to be in order to see the ad action. Let's give it a radius of five. And should the ad action be available if you're unconscious, which really hardly matters for us at this point, but so I'll just put it the true. Okay, so we'll save that. And there's one other thing. Uh, the ad action is not gonna show for me because there is, there is no object called Hilo one. So I'll go back to the editor and place one. So under helicopters, we can put a hummingbird down. And then I want to name it Hilo one. There we go. And everything should be up and running. So I should be able to spawn into this uh, scenario and the Hilo one is alive so there should be no ad action on the desk. Let's give it a go. Move left. Roger. So in my watch menu I got a live helo one, it's true. Standing by. So I have no ad action on the desk. And now if I use my radio command for the radio trigger to destroy that, it's gonna put the helicopter up over here, there it is. And it's fallen to the ground and be destroyed. Helo one is not alive, and I should have the ad action now spawn helo one. Uh oh, something didn't work right. So something in my script is not right. Hello one. Oh, there we go. The class name is Want. I had this extra space in it. So there we go. Helicopter's going down. Move left. Roger. And there we go. So the ad action Ready. disappeared as soon as I opened it or activated it. So zero zero one, destroy that helicopter. Also. If I were to use the salute button, which is my forward slash, then it should create that helicopter. And the ad action closed and went away. And it spawned in a helicopter. So let's go back to the editor and create another spawn point and change some of those parameters that we're using on the ad action. So for this case, I want to spawn another helicopter over here. So I'm going to go back into my objects and create another helipad. And let's make it a circle so it's clearly different. We'll call this one helipad 2. All right, and let's go back to the script. say spawn helo 2. All right, so helo 2, create vehicle helipad 2, 
mm, of a variable it, let's say. All right. So that's the script of the code. The arguments are nil. Uh, let's make it a lower priority. So it's just one under the first one. So 19 um, true, which is show window. Well, let's make it false for the sake of demonstration. And for the hide on use, let's make that false for the sake of demonstration. Uh, let's remove the shortcut so that no key bind will create do the add action and that there's no condition that the helo 2 doesn't have to be not a lie. Um, and the radius would be the same and unconscious could be the same. That's hardly uh, going to matter to us. Um, so now if I save that and go back and run the scenario. We're going to get slightly different behavior using those options. Move left. On the way. So in this case, the condition uh, that by. Hilo 2 would have to not be alive doesn't exist. So I automatically have the Hilo 2 uh, option in my spawn menu or on my add action menu. So if I spawn it, there we go. We've got a helicopter there. And I didn't, it doesn't hide on use. As you can see, it just spawned another helicopter. So because hide on use is set to be false, the add action stays there and selected. So there I got another third one, right? And I could keep spawning helicopters. So, you see that it places helicopters and objects in, and in a way, an attempt to prevent collisions. So, it, the game does that automatically. Um, so, if I just keep clicking it. I just created an enormous amount of helicopters just by continuously clicking that button. Okay, so there we go. That should finish off the ad action series. Um, there could be some questions as to um, how these ad actions would behave because I created them on the client side. Um, is it going to uh, create this ad action just locally for each client? Or would this add action on this global object was a desk, would it show up as multiple add actions for different players? So in the sense that I join the mission, uh, my init player local creates the add action on the desk. Um, when the next player at comes in, because the order desk is a global object, and they add an add action to it, do I see it? Do I have two options to spawn Hilo 1? Um, I haven't tested that. Uh, but it is possible and sometimes when you're creating ad actions you you do something in a way that you end up spawning multiple ad actions for the same thing um, so it can be difficult and it takes a little bit of testing sometimes like I say I'm not the world's best expert but um, so I test and and go over it over and over again uh, multiplayer testing to make sure that it's behaving the way I want it anyway catch you soon and take care